Before every Kundalini yoga set, we will tune in by chanting the following mantra three times. Ong Namo Gurudev Namo. Ong Namo means, I recognize and bow to the divine spark in all things. Gurudev Namo means, I recognize and bow to the teachings and the teachers who have come before. Sit up nice and tall. Bring the palms together, rubbing them at the heart center. Inhale deeply to begin. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Om Inhale deeply, and exhale. Bring the palms face down onto the shins. We'll begin spinal flexes. Inhale forward, and exhale back. As you inhale, roll the pelvis slightly forward, and as you exhale, roll the pelvis slightly back. We stay lifted up out of the waist. This is a movement focused on the lower spine. Our eyes are closed and focused at the third eye point. As you begin to warm up, you can speed the movement up Inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, exhaling. Keep the eyes closed. Let this be an internal experience. Keep the head level, keep the chest lifted, and really focus on the movement coming from the navel point, from the lower part of the spine. Kundalini Yoga has a powerful effect on the nervous system and on the endocrine system. Take a deep inhale now and pause this breath and pull up the root lock. That means draw up the muscles of the pelvic floor in and up. Hold the breath and exhale. Bring the palms face up on the knees with the thumb and forefinger touching in Gyan Mudra. Close the eyes and drop into a meditative space, simply noticing the experience that you're having. Remain in this meditative state. You are literally waking up your central nervous system, which is housed in the spinal column. When it comes to recovery, a strong nervous system 
and balanced endocrine system make the difference between white-knuckling it and the best day ever. Stay focused. Come sitting up on your heels. If this is painful for you, place a pillow in between your thighs and your calves and or underneath your ankles. If that's still painful for you, feel free to sit in a chair with your feet flat on the floor. The movement is the same as before. We inhale forward and we exhale back. Inhale forward, exhale back. The eyes are closed, focused at the third eye point. Remember, where the eyes focus, that's where the energy goes. So we want to draw that energy from the base of our spine up. Because we're sitting on our heels, this is a movement that really affects the middle of our spine. Inhaling forward and exhaling back. Begin to add a mantra to this movement. As you inhale forward, mentally say the word sat, which means truth. As you exhale back, mentally say the word nam, which means identity. Sat nam means truth is my identity. This is a powerful mantra that calls up the truth about who we are. It's like saying, I want to meet myself. I want to meet my truth, and I want to live from that truth. Take a deep inhale, pause the breath, and lift root lock, pulling the muscles of the pelvic floor in and up. Exhale and release. Come off your heels into easy pose with your thumb and forefinger together, sitting in meditation. The purpose of these meditation breaks in between each of these exercises is to become aware of what's going on inside for you. Just notice your own experience. Be in this meditative, observant place. Notice the sensations in your body and begin to develop a deeper relationship with yourself. Part of the reason that we use mantras like Sat Nam in Kundalini Yoga is because they help to cut through mental chatter. Just by mentally reciting Sat Nam, I am setting the tone for my day based upon the positive energy of those two words. Rather than being at the mercy of my addictive monkey mind. Bring the hands now up onto the shoulders so that the four fingers point ahead and the thumbs are behind. As you inhale, twist to your left. As you exhale, twist to your right. Inhale left and exhale right. Your head will turn naturally with your body here. This is a very powerful exercise that encourages openness and flexibility from the base of the spine to the crown of your head. Now take a deep inhale, pause this breath, And exhale, release. Bring the hands once again into Gyan Mudra, thumb and forefinger together. Enter a meditative state. Allow the energy to flow freely through you and become aware of what is happening within.
We've been using breath and specific movements to open up and tune your spine and central nervous system. These moments of stillness are necessary for the body to integrate this transformational work into its cells. Be in a peaceful state and allow the miracle to take place. Sitting up tall, lock your fingers in bear grip in front of your heart. To do this, your left palm faces away from the chest with your thumb pointing down. Your right palm faces the chest with your right thumb pointing up. Grip the fingers and you have bear grip. Move your elbows in a seesaw motion, breathing long and deep with the motion. Keep your spine straight, allowing your elbows to move up and down rhythmically. Try to keep the hands at heart level through the whole exercise. Now inhale deeply and fully exhale. As you hold that air out, pull the lock. Inhale and relax. Bring your palms face up on your knees with the thumb and four fingers together. Notice in what ways you feel different from when you began this set. Can you feel a flow of energy through the body? Do you feel comfortable, energized, Calm. Take note of your experience. As we examine our life on the path of recovery, we use yoga as a way to deepen our relationship with ourselves and to practice becoming more aware and intuitive beings. Take your palms face down onto your knees. As you inhale, flex your upper spine forward, and as you exhale, flex your upper spine back. Your eyes will be closed, focused at the third eye point. Inhale and the heart will come forward. Exhale and the heart goes back. We're now working on the flexibility of the upper spine. We began at the base of the spine and we have worked our way up. Keep a good grasp of the knees with your arms straight. Try your best to get your upper spine to move, inhaling forward and exhaling back. Almost there now. Stay in the flow and bring your concentration to these last few spinal flexes. Take a deep inhale. Bring your heart forward, pause this breath, and lift root lock. Squeeze the muscles of the pelvic floor and envision this energy spiraling up the spine from the bottom all the way to the top. And exhale, release. Relax in this meditative state. Become fully present in this moment. Become an excellent witness of your experience and begin to develop a sense of contentment with everything that is. In yoga, we call that santosha, and we realize it is something we actually have to practice.
Place your palms face down on your knees, preparing for shoulder shrugs. Inhale, lift your shoulders up. Exhale, and drop your shoulders down. Move at a fairly rapid pace, inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, exhaling. Your eyes will be closed. This is an opportunity to get the weight of the world off of your shoulders. Make sure to lengthen the back of your neck as you do this to protect your cervical spine. Keep a powerful breath. Inhaling shoulders up, exhaling shoulders down. You're moving energy through the shoulders, through the neck, to the higher energy channels of the body. Inhale, draw the shoulders up and pause for 15 seconds. and exhale and release. Drop your chin to your chest now and begin neck rolls in a clockwise direction. Be gentle, go slowly, breathe deeply. What a profound movement this becomes from an energetic standpoint, opening up the cervical spine and the energy centers that run through the neck. Switch directions now. So your neck is now rolling in a counterclockwise direction. And now inhale up to center, pause, and exhale. We're going to come into bear grip once again. Lock the fingers in bear grip like we did before, but this time at throat level. Inhale and pull bear grip and lift the muscles of the pelvic floor. Exhale now. Keep the air out and pull the muscles of the pelvic floor. Lift. Inhale, lift the arms up overhead, pull the lock, and lift root lock as well. Exhale here, hold all the air out, and lift root lock again, and pull the bear grip. Bring the hands down, inhale. Pause, lift, and pull. Exhale here, pause, lift, and pull. Inhale, the arms up overhead. Pause the breath, lift, and pull the bear grip. Exhale here, keep the air held out. Pause, lift, and pull. One more round, inhale. Pause, lift root lock. Exhale, all the air out, hold it out, and pull, and lift. Inhale, arms up overhead. Pause, lift and pull. And exhale. Keep the air held out. Pause, lift and pull. Inhale and release down. That creates a lot of heat in the body, which you're probably feeling right about now. Now come onto your heels. The final posture of this series is called Hot Kriya. If this is painful for you, then you can do this exercise in easy pose with your legs crossed. In Sat Kriya, we use the mantra Sat Nam, truth is my identity, which by now you are familiar with. This time, however, we are going to say the mantra out loud. Sat 
As we say sat, we draw our navel point in toward our spine. And when we say nam, we release it. Go ahead and interlace your fingers with your forefingers pointing straight out. Men will cross their right thumb over their left, and women will have their left thumb over their right. Your eyes will be closed and focused at the third eye point. Inhale deeply to begin. Sat Nam 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 Sat Sat Kriya helps to clear out the pipes, strengthening us physically and mentally. We'll be here for a few minutes. Nam Sat 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 Nam You may be hearing from your shoulders on this one. Sat But bring your focus to the mantra Sat and keep your arms as straight as possible. Sat This will help you to carry on through. Nam Sat You have one minute to go now. Sat Stay focused and bring your mental power into this. Sat Nam 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 Inhale deeply now. Pause this breath. Squeeze root lock. Draw the energy up from the bottom of the spine all the way to the crown of the head. Keeping the arms up, exhale all that air. Hold the air out. Lift root lock once again. Draw this energy up. Still keeping the hands up, inhale one last time. And exhale, release. Great job. Right away, very gently, come laying on your back for Shavasana. Allow this energy to settle. You may want to cover your eyes. Allow your entire body to release into the floor. Let all this energy flow freely. Make yourself an open channel. Let go of your thoughts. Let go of your body. Let go of your full identity. Just be in a place of being. The work is over. There are times in life when there's a lot of complication and challenge. 
This is not one of them. Allow yourself to relax and release. Enjoy. Deepen your inhales now and your exhales. Become aware of your body once again. Begin to wiggle the fingers and the toes and rotate the wrists and the ankles. Rub the palms of your hands together. Lift your feet off the floor and rub the soles of your feet together, stimulating all the nerves in the body. As you inhale, stretch from fingers all the way to toes. And as you exhale, draw your knees into your chest. Gently rocking on your spine, come to a seated position. Rub your palms together at the heart center, stimulating the heart. Rub your face, bringing heart to mind. Bowing your head. Satnam.